Well, hi everybody, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Beautiful day here in Hawke's Bay, and it's the only one we've had for a week, and we've got another few days of rain coming after the day, so uh, getting it in while we can. Today we've, uh, we're going around the block, and uh, there's quite a few blocks that we, uh, we have, but this one is going from um, Nate Gilgar across to uh, Ashurst, up through uh, Highway 54 to Vinegar Hill and then uh, make our way up to Taupo, uh, to Taihepi I should say and uh, we go from there to um, up back over the Taihepi Road and head into uh, to Napier been a lot of rain here in Hawke's Bay in the last few days so it'll be interesting to uh, see what the rivers are looking like oh yeah that's going and now we get the turn off onto Highway 50 proper Just coming into uh, Tikakino in the Sawyer's Arms. Great little place there, favourite of the uh, bikers. And here we are at the end of Highway 50. Two k's to Danny Burke, and then I'll probably be about the same again on to uh, Woodville. There's David, Mark, and Chief. coming through and here we are in the little town of Dannyburg uh, a couple of the lads Oh, we got Woodville, 27 kilometres. Oh, maybe that was Vognet. If you haven't caught up with Vognet, um, he's a train driver, but he's also a biker. And uh, he's got a really good um, uh, YouTube channel called Vognet. So uh, look him up, he's got some great content. Well, MTF would be proud of us. Going past a white van. <laughs> And here we are, the outskirts of uh, Woodville. Nice rural little town, it's quite a crossroads from here, um, going west over towards Palmerston North, Whanganui and obviously from there points north and uh, the turn off just up here to go south down toward to uh, Wellington Right, so there we go, that's uh, Woodville up behind us cup of coffee, gassed up and uh, heading into uh, 
cross over on the uh, the saddle get across the Ruahenes and uh, you can see there the new road that's going to go through so the old gorge was over there that's been closed for a couple of years now and uh, that's where the new road is going to go right so this is the start of the saddle road uh, wind farms all the way through big windmills so we're going from uh, east to west That gives you an idea. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful view. Right out to the coast. Here's ashes down there. And over the Manawatu River, and that's it, we're down. Okay, so we put our shoes behind us, and um, now we're just making our way towards um, Fielding on the Fielding Road, and um, we turn off. This is quite a big intersection coming up. Beautiful rolling rural farmland. Okay, the guys are still with us, which is nice. That's a nice little ride through there. So um, we're now coming up to uh, one of the major intersections. So really what we're doing now is following the road to Taupo. coming into Cheltenham. All these blossoms, they're very pretty. Oh, Hunterville, 36 k's, and in between Hunterville and us is Vinegar Hill. beautiful stand of trees well look at that view this Rua Pehu I might stop here and get a couple of pictures What a staggering view, absolutely brilliant, another stop go. How you doing buddy? Oh you betcha, I'll jump on the back. <laughs> yeah. Oh I got a big washout down here, and it looks like a culvert's gone. Yep, that's a beauty.
and that's pretty much the hill done. But, um, a few flats to go, and then we go down into the uh, into the river valley. And today's verse comes from First John chapter two and verse two, and that says, "He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world." And this is where we drop down into the river, and uh, this is the uh, camping ground here on the left hand side, which hopefully I'll stay out a little bit uh, later on in the summer, in the new year hopefully, and uh, record a few of the rides that are around here, which are quite looking forward to that. And here's the campground in there. And across the bridge we go. That's fairly up and running. Really nice. It's the Rangitai River. As we climb up out of here, and uh, we're almost onto the main road. And that's Highway 54. Vinegar Hill. And here's the uh, the main road. So it's a happy 41 clicks. So back in this lovely rolling farmland, um, most of the trip has been going through. Now uh, here's a royal uh, viaduct. Not sure what it is. I'll put something up on screen when uh, we edit. Now we've just been flashed up by our car, and there's the cop there. We'll give him a wave. Wawaka! Used to be a bustling little town this. Not quite so much these days, like a lot of the smaller towns. There's the roads that bypass them. Roads have gotten better condition and uh, better cars, better transport. So we just don't go down to our local town or village anymore. We go into the main centres. That beautiful scenery. Again, we're coming into a more rugged uh, part of the country. Look at that, that's beautiful. So here we are coming into Tai Happy. My battery actually died just before we got here, so this is a little bit of archival film that I had there. And uh, going to the usual place, uh, hung it left and went up to the uh, Brown Sugar Cafe, which uh, once again um, triggered us very, very well. Great service, very good food, and reasonable prices. So if you're through Tai Happy, pop in and say hello. Good stuff. And then it was time to go again. Um, we were fueled up and of course that's what we're going to do for the bikes as well. So uh, around the corner heading north, just in the northern outskirts of town, there's a, uh, a gas station. So fueled up and heading for home, and guess what? Being the fourth bike. Yeah, just my luck to get caught in behind a little traffic, but that's no problem. So this road goes round the back uh, of the main road. It's a bit of a loop that comes out and on to uh, the Tai Happy Road. 
on loops around onto the uh, the main road and the guys will be loving this We were talking over lunch that this uh, piece of road once a year should get closed off um, people can detour out on the main road and from here through to um, pretty much the turn off to the uh, Napier Tai Happy Road should be a motorcycle time trial which would be absolutely brilliant I've been through here on two wheels and it is very scrapable, <laughs> shall we say. When you talk about Tile of the Dragon, this would uh, certainly give it a run for its money. Not as long though. And here we are down to the Taupo, then at the Taupo, the Napier Tai Happy Highway, uh, the Napier Tai Happy Highway. Just look at away down there. How fantastic is that? Wow. Now we're coming up to one of my favourite views. Down through the twisties, through the pines. such a beautiful piece of scenery. And there's the river, wow. And there's Springvale camp down there. How beautiful. That's a real wow factor. And you can see in the distance across there where the road winds up into the hills again. And then we come down to the old swing bridge. How good is this? And there we go. I don't know if that's the three musketeers or the three geriatrics. <laughs> And I'm sure I'm gonna, it's going to cost me when they see that. <laughs> okay, so that's Springvale left behind us now. There's the river saying goodbye to that. And climbing up that road you saw before. And uh, we're about 25 minutes away from uh, Kirapapango. But in between us and there is the Gentle Annie. So uh, unless something really cool comes up, um, I'll see you about then. Itaruarau One of my favourite little streams Just beautiful That comes out about 15 k's Further down onto the Nararoro River That's the start of the Jitalani Going from west to east I've actually got a separate video 
of it. I might have already put it out, I can't, uh, I don't know yet what order they'll come out in. So, yeah, brilliant road. And there we're coming over the top. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to ride free and of course, God bless.